When it comes to sports fans, there's so many things out there that can divide people, whether it's what team you root for, what area of the country you may be from, or even what player you think is overrated or underrated. But there's one thing that in the past several years has absolutely unified sports fans, and that's their hate for the mainstream sports media and specifically ESPN. So when you hear players start to call out ESPN and trash ESPN, a lot of sports fans can get behind that, especially when they do it live on ESPN. And that person was Justin Verlander in a post-game interview just a few nights ago. Verlander started going viral for his comments about ESPN on ESPN. Justin Verlander abruptly cut off Sunday Night Baseball interview with Francisco Lindor. Quote, fuck ESPN. Let's go. My God, stop asking so many questions. Let's go. And we are going to listen to this. So this is Justin Verlander, uh, newly acquired this season by the New York Mets, who definitely struggled early on. They're making a comeback. They're over 500 right now. So shout out to Mets fans. It's not the disaster you may have thought early on. Uh, Francisco Lindor doing a post-game interview. And uh, this is what happened. Uh, they teaching the, the player, everybody in the, in the clubhouse, and we, we all learn from them. Uh, and, you know, they, they, they feed off each other. So it's been fun to watch them. Um, I can't wait to continue to... Uh... And it's about right here, as he's just talking, doing a normal mainstream media interview, you're about to hear a voice uh, from somewhere behind Francisco Lindor. See how the year unfolds with them. Okay, now I'm curious. What's one thing that you've specifically learned from either one of them? I mean, the way <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying. You see, so many questions. Yeah. No. Well, that's it. You see that that just rushing everybody. That's one thing I learned from him. Now, uh, if you couldn't hear, we actually do have the transcript for you. We can tell you exactly what he said about two and a half minutes into the interview. A shriek of "fuck ESPN," "leave him alone," "let him go," bled into the broadcast. Five seconds after firing off the request, Justin Verlander stormed the interview and dismissed Lindor from ESPN. Quote, we got to go do player of the game. Let's go. My God, stop asking so many questions. Let's go. Verlander said, imploring Lindor to follow him back to the clubhouse. Now, obviously, Justin Verlander might be not might not be expressing the same vitriol at ESPN that so many of us have, but there's no doubt that was Verlander that said that. Fuck ESPN. <laughs> Listen one more time. To continue to uh, see how the year unfolds with them. Okay, now I'm curious. What's one thing that you've specifically learned? <laughs> you gotta love it. And he's a lot of people are like, hey, Verlander is our guy. He hates ESPN. We love Verlander. Hell yes. That will unite a lot of people out there if you shit on the mainstream sports media. Because right now, over the past years, ESPN's deserved it. You know, they used to be like absolute king of the mountain for so many people. That was their routine, uh, mine included. Whether I was getting home from school or work or whatever it was, turn on ESPN, listen to ESPN radio in the car. Now that's not the case. Uh, ESPN has been failing for a long time, and it's so funny to see him get called out on their own platform by a guy like Justin Verlander. Let me know what you think about this in the comments section below. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.